Welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, since the last episode, I decided that I wouldn't do the uh, conveyor belt in the base thing, so I just built a couple of hypertubes. Now, I'm going to build hypertubes and demonstrate how those are built. They're very much like pipes, actually. But uh, I just needed these hypertubes to be up quickly. Uh, this one takes us over to the... Um, steel and uh, concrete storage section uh, and uh, I've just made a temporary setup here having it underneath the floor and the other hypertube takes us to the um, coal area uh, or rather at the top now I've uh, Remember the name of that uh, channel that I was uh, referring to in the last episode is Total Eclipse. So, Total Eclipse, but replace the E with X. I probably will put that in my recommended channels because there are a lot of good satisfactory videos on his channel in regards to uh, both showing off uh, very interesting, very impressive base designs. And, uh, well, I'm enjoying watching uh, watching that. Um, so here's the one that's for the uh, this part of the factory. There's a turn here. And as someone told me, you can make these um, uh, turns with pipes. And that's a relevant thing that I can show you guys. Um, as you probably know, I'm usually using this... Uh, to, to get the uh, the correct angle thing. Now, if you have this in default, it will work here. Actually. But if it doesn't work, uh, what you can do is to hold on R, or just click R, until you get into the conveyor 2D mode. And that will make a correct turn if you have it on the... Uh, just beside. So this would also be a correct turn. Just as a small little tip there. Uh, I've also decided, uh, after uh, watching some of those uh, videos on Total Eclipse's channel, that I'm going to uh, go away from the uh, Total Glass Foundation thing. I have a few plans about things that I'm going to do. And... Uh, some of that involves removing a lot of these foundations. And I'm not going to do that on camera because that's going to be quite tedious. For this episode, I have set up, as I uh, said in the end of the last episode, I've set up the um, space elevator. This also is not going to be the permanent location for it. Uh, I have no idea where I want to place that thing. But uh, until uh, I'm done with it, that is, until I'm done with the research, uh, I'll probably just put it down temporarily when I need it and then tear it down again. So, we are going to need smart plating, which requires reinforced iron plates and rotors, two of each per minute. We're going to need versatile framework, which requires 2.5 modular frames and 30 steel beams per minute to make five per minute. And we're going to need automated wiring, which we are going to require 2.5 stators and 50 cable per minute. And this one creates 2.5 parts. I think the versatile framework are the ones that we need the most of. Otherwise, I might have to set up a second factory. Yeah, I might have to set up a second factory for smart plating, actually, because otherwise we're going to be waiting for ages for that. Do I have the resources necessary to do that? Yes, I do. So... Let's set up one more. Let's just see here. Set off framework. This makes five per minute. This one makes two. So. Yeah, what we're going to do then is create another one of these. Come on, come on. Snap. There we go. And then 
you need to place down the um, splitters as well. Let's get that and that. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Counting with Caladorn. Oh, I ran out of iron plates. How embarrassing. At least I don't have to go far to get those. Anything else I need? Oh, I need all the things. Two, four, five, six stacks of that. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick up things as we need them. So one more, not murder, one more splitter up there. That should be nine. And then three here. And on this one, we need to increase by one and three. Then on this one, we need to increase by one and remove one and then this is versatile framework we're going to reset that to smart plating set this to be versatile framework and this one to be automated wiring there we go i've also prepared these um stackable conveyors and prepared the the way that we're going to take things but there are a few things that I'm going to be uh, finagling with and that's something that we're going to do in this episode. So the steel beams, we need to take them from here and I'm not entirely sure how to do that, but I do have a quick idea. Um, is that sufficiently far away? It's actually too close. No, too far away. So let's put it there and we go up to... That is a Mark 1 belt, yes. So we're going up to level... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's on level 3. If I put a lift there, it would be level 4 and 5. But that should be level 6. And then we can connect that up to this. And let's just follow that. Oh, that's too far. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, I know I'm clipping through the power line there, but I usually don't care about clipping for temporary things. And this is very much a temporary thing. Why do you do that? And that goes further on to there, and to there, and then we just flip it in there, and connect it up to there. And finally, we connect it to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, there. Stators, they will come at level 5. No, that's the rotors. The rotors will come at level 3. And I need to check my notes here. We have cable that we need to come in at level 9. Cable we are producing all the way over here. Uh, we can grab some resources while we're down there. What is this? This is copper sheets. This one is cable. We need a couple of stacks of that. We can put that 18 stack in here. Uh, this is copper wire. Let's take a stack of that and put the 470 stack in there. Here we have rotors. Let's grab a stack of that 
and then again put the 60 stack in there. Here we have modular frames, we don't need need of that at the moment, but we do need some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we can put the 84 stack into the uh, sink. Let's take three stacks of those. This one is empty, let's take it down. And the copper sheets, we don't need any of those. We go here and we can put in this one. We need more of these. Uh, I don't need the screws either, nor do I need those. We need more concrete. That we can get over there at the other side. Um, I need iron plates. Which means a quick trip in the hypertube. I like the hypertubes. There we are. Uh, we have three, four, 369. Let's grab four more stacks of iron plate. The steel products we're going to get at the, uh, the steel outpost. I don't think I need any of that now. No, I don't know. I wonder when, when they're going to fix that bug with the uh, Blade Runners hanging through the thing. I believe this is cable, yes, and I believe we're producing 60 of that. Yep, we need 50, I think. <coughs> okay, now how am I going to do this? Cable is going on level 9. So... That's the entrance. I don't really need... I need these two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The only reason I need that, I'm going to tear that down, so don't worry about the clipping up there. I need that just to um, make sure that the elevator is on the right level. So... Two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm pretty sure that's on the correct level. Yep, it is. Now we can tear down this again. And how far away is this? We're here. One, two, three, four, five. This is a good place. I believe that would be on the correct angle. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it is. One, three, six, and nine. And we can connect that up to there. And then... Can I please see the... Uh, there. One, two. That's three, four. Does that clip? I... You don't... I'm not gonna bother with the clipping. I don't care. Because it's going to be torn away. But it doesn't look bad, actually, even though it does clip a little bit into the uh, the merger there. It actually doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah, this is not easy. Might need a lookout tower, perhaps. Nah, we're going to be fine. That's going downwards, so... Oh, come on, game. Don't do that to me. Do I have to take these on and on again? Because I'm feeling it's going very slow. No, it isn't. 
how, how weird. I'm just imagining things. That's a bad clipping that I would never, ever accept if it weren't for the fact that I'm going to tear this down afterwards. The other ones are going to clip through that as well. But I'm not going to be uh, bothered by that right now. On level 10, we want the modular frames. How much reinforced iron plates do we need? Not this one, not this one, this one. We need four and we have an excess of... Where did I put them? Here. Yeah, we have an excess of 7.4, so that's fine. Hello darkness, my old friend. Blah, 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 blah. And um, we need this to be on level 10. Wow, okay. That's also something that we need to change at some point. Uh, one, two. That's three. Ten. And ten. Does that connect up correctly? Nope. I'm not going to connect it until I know that it works, though. This is in the center of this tile, so that would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this should work if I place that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. appears to be one too few. Yep, that's nine. Can't afford, now I need concrete. Oh well, let's go fetch some concrete then. At some point I'm going to make a central storage hub. Uh, not like the uh, the one that I used in my previous series where I take everything out of that because that was quite annoying to deal with uh, the belting. Although it was something that I'm quite proud of, uh, I'm not going to do that again. Um, but I do want a mall where I can go pick up all the products. So I'm going to make some splitting and stuff to make sure that I can uh, get the products that I need when I need them. Maybe that's why I didn't place the 10th. Maybe I clicked, but uh, it refused to place it because I didn't have enough resources. I didn't see that if that happened. You guys would have seen it and probably complained about it to, the, to your monitors. Working with these tall buses is a challenge from time to time. As I'm sure you can see. Because you have to get to all kinds of weird angles to uh, 
actually connect them to the one point that you need them to connect to. I like the belts going through that thing. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Now getting the reinforced iron plates. That's going to be uh, fun. Um... Yeah, there is no other way I can do this, actually. I'm going to have to do a splitter here. I think two should suffice. And this is supposed to go all the way up to level 11. Jeesh. And it's not close enough either, so... So this would be... there, which means I want this one to be... here. 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, that's one too little. Counting with Caledon when Caledon counts wrong. I'm gonna have to do this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's got to go there. I was wondering if I'm doing it on the wrong level, but I'm not. this from here? Yep, I can. Hello game, there we go. And the final one, there. Then we can take this into that one, and that one goes into that one, and then we can just and Gone. Uh, the next thing we're going to need here are the rotors, I think. Yep. This should be reinforced iron plates and rotors. Good. And then we remove these. And then I think this one goes there. That should be modular frames. Yep. And we can remove these. Then we take the steel beams to there and remove these. And we take the... Oh, that's too far. Um, I think that's cable. I have no idea how many I need. Apparently I need exactly that many. That was luck. We can remove these. And then the stators go here. And we can remove those. This looks interesting, especially without the lifts. Like so, and these go to there. This one goes to that one, then that one, and finally 
that one and that one. Now we need power. And power we can take on this angle. So that would be two away from the, uh, the joint here. So one, two. This would also be an unacceptable location for a power pole because it's blocking the way. But it's temporary. I wonder how many times I've said that things are temporary in this uh, series. And boom. Now we're producing four smart plating per minute. We are producing five versatile frameworks per minute. Uh, if the modular frames were connected, that is. suspect that I have to connect these from the bottom. Yep. There we go. Uh, what I can do is go grab some modular frames from the containers over here so I can just stash them in there until the ones that are supposed to come in from the... Uh, belt system arrives because that's going to take a little while when it's mark one belts also i should remove the two there and the one there i wish there was some kind of auto run button on uh, in the game here You've got what you need, you do not have, so put these two in. Oh, you don't need more than one of them at a time. Okay, then we need to do the uh, belt connections here. Um, one thing that annoys me with these is that they are slightly elevated, and they're, they're also offset. Uh, but there's not much I can do about that. So we're going to do lifts and the green arrow needs to go that way one and two then this thing should also be two away and I want the green arrow to go that way. Oh, I'm missing iron plates again. I'm burning through iron plates like crazy here. remember having used this much iron plates in a long while. Okay, so we're going to do this with the exit here. This is going to make a crooked belt. I'm not a fan of that. So, we're going to do this a little bit differently. Even though this is temporary, that doesn't mean it can't look okay. I'm going to do it like this instead then. Let's uh, put up a conveyor pole aligned to these. I 
think that this is the correct location for it. Yeah, you see the um, the offset is not good. I'm going to have to go back to here. And then funnel it in like this. One, two, and three. That's correct, isn't it? No, it's not. That to there, that to here, that to here, not there. And into the elevator. But it's encroaching clearance. I hope it's this one and nothing else. Oh crap. Fine. I don't understand why this doesn't work, but I'm guessing it's to do with the space elevator itself. Okay, now for the next thing. Where does this come from? This comes from here. One, two. Did I jump there? There we go. Now this one. We are going to have to go one, two, three out, I think. Hold on now. Does that clip? I think it clips. Nope. There we go. might be a good idea to actually connect up the lifts here. Just checking that everything is coming in as it should. belts going like that but uh, this purposes or these purposes right here that's not a problem so everything's coming in um, I have lots of things to do off camera while we're waiting for this because until this is done there really isn't much at all for us to do um, but let's go check the mum, just to uh, make sure that I have done the necessary research. I also need to go visit the desert to get some mycelia so that I can research that, because we do need mycelia. And um, you can see here, mycelia is needed for the medicinal inhaler. Still can't do that one. What is that? Object scanner improvements. Doesn't say what. 
can do the AI limiter. Done with the fly petals, the nutrients. I suppose we could do this one. Don't have crystal oscillators yet, and I haven't made any black powder. What did I need for that one? Um, 25 staters and 100 steel pipes and 50 wire. There should be plenty of staters around in the machines. Yeah, this is a complete mess now that I've done all of these things. Hello, machine. Thank you. Need steel pipes as well, and I do need a um, stack of wire. This one, isn't it? Yep. We go through the hypertubes to go get the steel pipes. I love the hypertubes. And steel pipes should be over here. Grab two stacks of that. And the hypertube should take us directly back to the MAM, so that's useful. What is this thing, nutritional mixture? Blah, blah. Oh, right, it's the medicinal inhaler that we get from using these three. Uh, do I have enough bacon? Yep, I do. Need to collect some more bacon. start that research. It's going to take three seconds as well. I think we can make nutritional medicinal inhaler from those three. I don't know how efficient this recipe is. I don't remember, but that's not really a major concern. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the medicinal inhaler, it heals all, like if you have two dots left, it will just heal everything. But uh, that means it's a waste to use if you have one or two uh, pips of damage. But if you have just one or two, or th maybe three, maybe four pips of health left, it's actually uh, beneficial to use it. Let's put these back. Not that one. This one. And sort, I can grab that stack with me because I don't need that, nor do I want iron ore to be in here. We are making motors now, so we don't need that in here. And I definitely don't need light. No, I'm actually filming dirt. We don't need leaves or... Uh... There's a lot of things in here that we don't need anymore. These as well, we don't need. Uh, so these, we can take the hypertube over to the uh, sink and we can... Uh, Put some items in there. This one, this one, that one, uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and these. Yeah. 
that looks a bit better. Anyways, for now, I think that we're going to call it an episode here. And I will just wait until the space elevator is done and do some uh, minor construction work or perhaps major construction work. Who knows? Uh, but it will be mostly foundation construction work. So that I will do in between episodes. If you have questions or comments, as per usual, please do leave them in the uh, comment section of the video or join us in our Discord server. You'll find the uh, link to the Discord server either in the description of the video or in the banner of my channel up to the right side. So thank you all so very much for joining me and I will be seeing you all in the next episode.